my favorite kind of video, my monthly favorites. Now, I didn't shoot my Jan favorites video because I wasn't shooting then. So this is going to be a Jan Feb favorites both together. And yeah, I've been home a lot through Jan and uh, a little bit of Feb. So yeah, lots of shows, lots of stuff I'm going to tell you guys about. But before that, I want to thank you all for your lovely comments and messages on the last video. You guys have all been super sweet, super supportive, and I'm happy to be back as well. So thank you for that. And now let's get started. Okay, first up, we have my favorite book. So uh, I've read all of Lauren Weisberger's books. Uh, I always get confused between Weisberger and Burger. It's Weisberger. Uh, I've read all her books right from the Devil Wears Prada. I actually have all of them. So this one is called The Wives uh, and I really really like it. I read this in Jan. I actually read a lot of books. So one of my uh, resolutions for this year is to read a lot more and uh, yeah so this is one of the books that I really really liked. I love her books. As I said I have all. I've read all love this okay favorite movies i have liked three movies because i've watched a lot of movies over the last two months i've just pretty much been watching shows reading or watching movies so the first one is from netflix it is bird box uh you guys must have all seen it by now if you haven't i don't know what you're doing it is really really cool sandra bullock is amazing and uh, it's on netflix really really enjoyed the movie okay the second one is senna which is a documentary that i saw on i think amazon prime uh for those of you who don't know senna was a formula one driver way 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 before our time and uh, i didn't really watch him race but i love formula one and a lot of the current drivers are inspired by him it's such a touching documentary you have to watch it if you love racing or cars um you will really really enjoy it i really enjoyed that one and the last one is The Wife, which is a movie I saw in the theater in February. Amazing. Um, it's really sad that she didn't win the Oscar for it because I think she totally deserved it. But it's a great, great, great movie. It's, it's unreal. I don't want to spoil it for you. If you haven't watched it, watch it. Then in the beauty department, we have a new shampoo that I used. This is the Aveda Damage Remedy Shampoo. It's over. I need to get a new one. It was so, so good. Now, what I felt was when I was sick, once I was diagnosed with TB, as I said, my skin's become really rashy and I break out a lot um, into strange rashes and my scalp, everything's become very sensitive. So I kind of shifted to more natural products and I started trying this in Jan. Loved it. And now I need to get more of it. The next beauty favorite is a lip balm from Olive. Now, you guys know I think uh, I use the Burt's Bees lip balm and I swear by it. Sometime in Jan, I ran out of my regular balm and uh, my lips felt very dry and chapped and I had this so I tried it. It's so, so good. Again, really natural. Uh, just a clear balm basically that, you know, goes over anything or when you're home and you just want a plain balm. It is so, so good. Keeps your lips hydrated. All natural ingredients. Really, really, really like this. And um, pretty much all through Jan and Feb, I've not used much on my face. Like in terms of the beauty department, all through Jan while I was on my medication, just use this and my uh, ANR, like my nitrope serum. Nothing else on my skin. Uh, I think I should have a bottle here. I do have a bottle here. Yeah, I always have it by my bedside. I have one here and one in my house as well. Uh, this is the best thing. This is the only thing I trusted when I was on my medication. As I said, my skin was breaking out crazily. And you guys have seen this in tons of my videos. But yeah, pretty much just use this and that. This was not on the list, but this is like a perpetual favorite. So yeah. Okay, time for my favorite gadgets. Got one for Feb, one for Jan. And my Jan favorite is this guy, my beautiful iPad Pro. Uh, love that it has a keypad and it comes with like... Uh, a pencil which is amazing to use I pretty much watch stuff on this throughout like the month of Jan it has the most amazing display uh, videos look amazing on it and this is so convenient because it means I don't have to carry my MacBook Pro around and I just take this I reply to my emails it's so light it's so convenient and the pencil is great like you have a lot of apps that you can use the pencil with you can also color with it and play games with it it's just amazing so yeah Love this guy. The second one is Alexa, what is 253 into 194? 253 multiplied by 194 equals 49,082. Alexa, what's the news? Jerry, here's your flash briefing. Okay, breaking story right now. The government is here. The 
Alexa, tell me a joke. What did one lady like say to the other? We are in good company. Alexa, add to my to do list. Shoot a new video. I could shoot a new video on your to do list. Alexa, play shallow. Yes, I'm obsessed with Alexa. So Web have gifted me Alexa for Valentine's Day and oh my God, I am obsessed. Like I sit and talk to her all the time. I ask her what the weather's like. I ask her about the news. I ask her to play music. And it's so amazing. Like I just love the fact that you can ask it anything or ask for any song and it will just play it and you don't have to like type in stuff or look for stuff. Or make lists like I love to use it to make lists and it's just it's just really really fun and uh, it just makes your life easier like if you don't have one get one like I don't know why I waited so long actually I didn't get it I have gifted it to me but yeah I wish I had it sooner like it's so much fun okay then we have my favorite moment it has to be the day I stopped being contagious so when you have TB for the first two weeks on your medication you're really infectious and you have to wear a mask and after that you can stop wearing the mask and you're not contagious and you can go out in the world and be like hello so uh, yeah that day was definitely like that moment when I woke up that day and I did not like my routine used to be wake up and wear my mask and that day I remember waking up and throwing my mask into the bin and that was the happiest moment in Jan as you know I wasn't leaving the house at all and I wasn't wearing any jewelry whatsoever because I only wear earrings when I leave the house and I pretty much wear only my wedding ring, my engagement ring and this ring otherwise. Like even my watches, everything comes off at home. And I was just feeling really blah because I was living in sweatpants and my pajamas and I never really went out or got dressed up. And one day I was like, okay, I'm going to put on my bracelets uh, to just feel a little festive. So I've Put these on in Jan and I haven't taken them off since and they've kind of become an extension of me because I wear them every day and never take them off. I've been posting these on Instagram and you guys keep asking me about them. So yeah, this one, the first one is a gift. It was what my sister gave me for my wedding. This one is by Kaj and this one is my first anniversary gift from Webhav, which is from Clove. So yeah, been wearing these a lot. So these are definitely my fashion favorites. Okay, when it comes to my favorite song, there is only one song that I have loved through Jan and Feb and that I can listen to a hundred times in a day. And I'm gonna play my favorite part for you. So I'm not even going to attempt to sing this because I cannot come close to Lady Gaga and uh, I mean it's just such a lovely song. I just love the contrast between Bradley's voice being raw and like hers being perfect like I don't think it gets better than her voice so I just love that and I just love the song there's so much passion there's so much emotion and um, I, I love the song. Okay, up next we have a new entry onto my favorites list. It is the PS4? Yeah, PS4 games. Now, I started playing PS4 for the first time in my life in January. I have never played PS before. Like, I never had a PS growing up. And now I'm like, why not? But yeah, it is a lot of fun. I've started with two games so we bought Call of Duty World War 2 and what was the other one Atreus and uh, his father uh, God of War I'm really bad at God of War Webhub was really good he finished that one I finished this one I really 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 love this one and uh, if you guys play PS4 or PS or whatever it's called Comment below with other games because I want to get some more games finish this one and I loved it Okay, time for my favorite shows. So if I've done one thing through Jan, it's sit in a room and watch shows. So I've watched shows on my iPad, I've watched shows on my phone, I've watched shows on my TV. I've watched a lot of stuff basically. Uh, so this is just a list of my favorites. Like usually pretty much everything I watch ends up being on my favorites list, but I've watched a lot guys. So this would be a whole different video which would be like a one hour long video if I were to tell you everything I've watched. So this is stuff that I really, really loved. First up, we have the Ted Bundy tapes. What a freak. Like, it's so scary and freaky. Like, I've been really into these serial killer shows, documentaries. Uh, 
and they are so freaky that there are people like that living around us and we have no idea and it's just scary so yeah if you haven't watched the Ted Bundy tapes you have to watch it this guy was like one of the first serial killers and it's just psh, watch it okay then we have the assassination of Versace which is I think the American Crime Story season 2 again fantastic must 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 watch Sex Education on Netflix again really 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 good um, it seems like it's gonna be teeny bopper like when you watch the trailer but it's not and it's really really good I would definitely recommend that one The Haunting of Hill House now a lot of you guys recommended this I haven't watched a horror show in really long so I quite enjoyed it it's nice I wouldn't say it's fantastic but yeah it's nice like you could definitely watch it if you're into like horrors and thrillers and things like that up next we have period which is the documentary that won the Oscar definitely definitely watch it it's it's really really amazing it's very short so it doesn't take a lot of your time and it's just pretty hard-hitting to the point must watch last on netflix i would recommend the latest season of one day at a time love rita marino i only watch the show for her and um i mean this season was a little preachy like there's always a message behind everything like it was a lot funnier i think in the earlier seasons but i still like the show then on hot star we have this is us again uh the new season the latest season is what i'm watch i'm watching what i'm watching and i love it uh, i mean you guys know that's one of my favorite shows so really enjoying that the other thing i started watching on hot star is true detective again which is really nice I think I'm on season one. Yep. And on Amazon Prime, obviously, the marvelous Mrs. Mazer season two. Love, love, love her. Love the show. I just wish it was longer. Like, I feel like I wanted more episodes. Like, I enjoyed it that much. And I also watched two seasons of Goliath on Amazon Prime, which was really good as well. So, yeah, really enjoyed those two on Amazon Prime. So, guys, those are things that I've been loving in Jan and Feb. You guys know the drill. Comment below with whatever you've been loving shows, music, food. There was no food, actually. I kind of lost my appetite in Jan, so there was no food next month. Anything. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.